not broken, it just has character. That's Ollivander in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Hey everybody, I'm Matt Wolf, the Wolf of Journey, and I prepare founders to secure funding for their startup or small business. Today, we're talking about the alpha release of a product. What is it? Why do you need it? Why is it important? And what are the pros and cons? So let's dive in. Simply put, an alpha release is the earliest version of your product that's ready for internal testing. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, and it's certainly not customer ready yet, but it's alive. The goal here is to gather feedback from a small internal, keyword internal, stress that word, group of users and make improvements before you move on to the next stage. Think of it as testing your Frankenstein monster before it faces the public. So why is the alpha release important? Well, it allows you to work out the kinks, catch bugs, and refine your product early on. This means avoiding public embarrassment when your app crashes during the demo, of course. It also helps set the foundation for smoother product development as you move into the beta phase and beyond. So like anything else, there are pros and cons. So I wanna go over three pros and three cons. Number one, it allows you to have early problem detection by identifying critical issues and bugs before your product sees the light of day. Better to crash in private than in public, right? Yes. Number two, iterative improvement allows you to tweak features and adjust functionality based on actual usage. Your product starts looking less like a science experiment and more like something people might actually use. And number three, user feedback. Get real input from a small group of albeit internal users, to refine the experience. It's like your product's first therapy session. Time to hear what's working and what's not. And here are some of the cons, three of them. Number one, it's not for the impatient. Alpha releases can be buggy and frustrating. You'll need to wade through the issues, crashes, and the what just happened moments. Number two, the cost can certainly pile up. Developing an alpha release isn't free, your space, you're basically spending money to build something you know is going to break, but you gotta do it anyway. And number three, limited user feedback. Testing with a small group is great, but don't mistake their feedback for market-wide validation. Your crazy uncle's opinion at Thanksgiving dinner might not actually reflect what your target customers think. So while it's tempting to skip the alpha release and fast track your product to market, trust me, it's worth putting in the effort. It's like your product's awkward teenage phase, necessary for growth, even if a little painful. If you wanna learn more about how we elevate founders to being sophisticated, then reach out to us to learn more. And if you found this video informative, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. That's all for now, the Wolf of Journey signing out.